Good morning everyone. It is Sunday and I have been summoned to the kitchen garden to pick out some carrots because Ali is making an earlier roast today and as you can see it is the frostiest most beautiful morning. So I'm going to harvest some carrots, um, take them indoors to Ali and then I have some sweet peas to sow. I I don't know if I'm doing this a little bit late. I had the 28th of December in my diary that I should be doing this and I've kind of put it off hoping that my greenhouse is going to be ready. It's not happened but I'm not going to let it stop me. So carrots first, sweet peas later, roast dinner. The broccoli is bubbling away and everything in the oven, except for the light that's on in the oven, is doing its thing. We have our table set and ready to go. I think we're going to open some wine that Ali's dad got us for Christmas, which was a lovely Barolo. Miss Millingordon's having a, a hoover around, table looking lovely. And I am about ready to head out and start doing my sweet peas. So I order most of my sweet peas from Amazon. Um, I've got some Swan Lake, some Jilly, and these are the Royal Family White. Uh, my lolly sticks have arrived. I got these from Amazon as well. These are great. They do last a few, well, about two years. I had to replace quite a few this year. Um, and then I've got some gloves, some Amazon gloves for me to do my potting. I'm going to be honest, I often put gloves on with the intention of wearing them when I'm outside, but um, I like feeling the soil in my fingers. It ruins my hands, but I feel like I'm sort of a, a, at a bit of a disadvantage when I use these. Hopefully everything's all potted up outside anyway, so hopefully I'll get to throw these in those pots and get them done. just before I head out to um, put the sweet peas in. This is the way that this one reacts whenever we have an Amazon delivery. And I've just, I've just had a delivery and he thinks that every Amazon box contains a teddy for Porty and it doesn't. Come on, let's get your chicken. Where's your chicken? Where's your chicken? Here we go. Take your chicken. I'm going to pretend that this teddy came in the box. See if we can fool Porter into thinking that this teddy is new. If I open the box with my Amazon deliveries. Porter. What is this? He'll know it's not a new toy. What is this? <laughs> He's realised it's not a new teddy in there. <laughs> oh, forty. I'm so sorry, my boy. It's not a new teddy. It's an old one. Very upset. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> there must be something in here. There usually is. What I was going to tell you was my Amazon orders arrived and I've fallen hook, line and sinker for the um, Revlon, is it glass shine? 
lipsticks that went viral on TikTok and is there's this particular color that's called rum raisin you can't get it anywhere but what I did manage to get was glossed up rose which actually strikes me as more of a me color obviously since I've had my lip blush done I am not wearing any lip liner or lipstick but I want like hints of color just like natural color and this is like a it's like a hybrid between a lip balm a lip gloss and a lipstick love this color as well for spring summer that's gonna be super pretty I love that. I've pre-soiled up these pots. These are the leftover pots from the uh, ferns and ivy that I potted in my previous vlog. And I've also found more seeds. So I think I must have actually bought some seeds at the garden center and on Amazon. And I can't remember which ones are which. So apologies if I've told you that I've bought something from somewhere that I didn't get it from but I can't remember but I'll link whichever seeds I've got in the description box down below. Um, I've got my lollipop sticks ready to go. I'm going to get as many in here as possible. I do also have a big pot there that I can pot up and I'm going to be popping these on the windowsill in the porch of my greenhouse because that's about the only place I can access and they need to be protected but in a cold greenhouse so you can put them in cold frames um, in a cold porch and things like that i wasn't actually sure where they were supposed to go but um it seems that this area here is going to be perfect anyway so that's what i'm going to do Well, I've managed to clear this little area here on this sill to grow my sweet peas. Um, I've actually done quite well. I've managed to get quite a few packets into these um, pots, so hopefully I'll have a nice amount. But the ones that I've grown are obviously the Jilly. I've also grown Swan Lake and Royal Family White as well. So all different types of white uh, sweet peas. The reason why I've decided to grow these ones is because I really like the way that white and green looks. It's always the flowers that I tend to go for. Also, Arthur Parkinson taught me how to basically make little bunches, but make them still feel wild. I don't like anything too frilly. I like it to still feel quite wild. Um, and the way that he did it, it looked really beautiful and just kind of not too floofy. Um, so this is my first time. I don't know how often I'm going to have to water them, but um, it's not very enjoyable coming out here at the moment because it's so miserable in my greenhouse. I can't even light the fire. But as I shut up shop, you can hear the sounds of the pheasants. <laughs> Noisy little moomoos. We also had a little visitor when we were having our roast. The deer came into the garden. I think Ali got a story of him. He was just mooching around, having a look. Yes, I'm gonna put all of the sort of information on what I've learnt in terms of like what to do with sweet peas, but we're gonna find out as we go along together basically, which is quite enjoyable. Um, I've got very, very muddy fingers and I need to scrub my nails. It's so noisy. But we had a delicious roast. I desperately need to go inside and warm up. Um, I've had two glasses of Barolo this evening as well, so I am very nice and chilled for the rest of the evening. I think I'm going to grab my book again and just sit on the sofa and relax because the garden lights are starting to come on and that usually means that I should be indoors. But look at the sky this evening. You have to obviously ignore all of the rubble. But look how beautiful that sky is such a treat at this time of year. I know I said I was going inside but I thought I'd take a little stroll down Bumblebee Walk and check out what's going on over the farmer's fields seeing as there's so much wildlife out and about at the moment. <gasps> you can see the snowdrops coming up. Oh my goodness this is so exciting. These are all little bunches of snowdrops here. <gasps> wow. I've never been out here. In fact I'm gonna have to be really careful because I might be standing on some. So I'm going to have to be careful, I think. Seeing as we're out here and we're not going to see the farmer's fields, um, I thought I would show you um, the leaves because I have finally found some stunning quality um, blank greetings cards that I'm going to use to make my own with using the leaves from my garden. So I'm going to use the beech tree, the oak tree, all of those things, even these ones, I don't know what they are, but lots of different leaves um, to make just some general cards. I just thought it'd be so much lovelier to just make some 
So that is my plan of action. I've ordered them. I've ordered a beautiful moss green and then a normal ivory, both in stunning textured card. I'm so excited. You'll also see here there is a clear definition between the lawn and the wildflower. And I'm just learning so much about the garden as the sort of season goes on. I've already spotted that there's actually some sorrel growing in the wildflower. So I'm really hoping that as that establishes, it establishes itself a little bit more, I will be able to have some sorrel tea because it's super good for around that time of the month if you get uh, cramps or mood changes and things like that. Just some foraged sorrel tea is so wonderful. So I think that's something that I'm gonna definitely make full use of um, just to show you what, if I can find it, what sorrel looks like. The reason why I want it to establish itself is, here we go, this is some sorrel here, is because um, I don't want there to be any puppy dog wee wees on it. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to get some of that without any puppy dog wee wees. But this is what it looks like. It almost looks like a beautiful mini fern. It makes me very happy <laughs> just to see it there. Even if I can't have the tea, it just makes me happy to see it there. Good <laughs> morning, everyone. I have been scurrying away in my dressing room for the last few hours filming content. I feel like my eyes always give me away when I've been like non-stop. Um, it's been a few days and I have had my very last um, gallery shoot with Karen Millen. It's not my last collection. It's not my last shoot with them, but I'm not gonna be doing the gallery shoots anymore. So it was a sad day, but also I have to say, it was one of those things that I found quite tiring, like 30 outfits nonstop. I take my hat off to models. <laughs> Today, I should be able to show you what's happening so far with the shed we've made a lot of progress they made a lot of progress whilst i was away on the shoot yesterday i've also managed to steal some of my samples of my next collection um but it is the weather has, t has turned here in england unfortunately um no longer do we have the bright crisp uh fresh mornings and it's got very gray and probably a little bit wet in fact this morning the weather was nuts in terms of like clearly overnight it's warmed up so all of the frost and dew has like melted and created a paper thin layer over everything so the patio the driveway the road everything is like a sheet of ice and our road doesn't get gritted because it's not a public road so we ice skated on the dog walk this morning um, but I am up and I'm dressed and I'm wearing a new shirt dress. Um, I'll link this in the description box down below. You'll know I basically lived in my um, maxi shirt dresses last year. I wear them a lot for traveling and things like that, but I wanted one that was a little bit shorter. This is more of like a, a mid, midi, I'd say it's a midi. Um, slightly different material, it's lighter weight, so it has like a a really delicate movement to it not as cottony feeling as the previous one but i'll link it down below also ignore the listing of it it shows only buttons to here i'm so happy that it came with buttons to the bottom but this is a great everyday one second someone's at the door sorry about that that was actually an amazon delivery and so i thought i'd show you this really quickly because i put the new amazon parcels on the side in the kitchen and porter loses his mind and Ali is filming. So I thought I'd show you quickly the dress that I'm wearing. Like I said, it's a little bit shorter than the other one. So great for this time of year when it can be a little bit damp outside. If you want to pop it with boots and tights, etc. I am not wearing it with boots and tights. I'm wearing it with ballet flats because I'm comfortable. Popped a little belt with it as well. You can unbutton it a little bit lower. I'll link it down below. I think it comes in white. I'm out of breath from running upstairs. I think it comes in white and um, I'll link that down below as well. I think I'm gonna order the white, but yes, very happy with this. Just very presentable for a day working, but home office working, if that makes sense. So um, anyway, let's go down because I'm gonna open up these bits that have just arrived from Amazon with you before Porter has a hernia. Oh, there's a very small break in the banging outside, so I can quickly show you what we've got. So first up, we have this. I googled what the best mousse was to use with the Dyson Airwrap because I have the Dyson Airwrap arriving today. I'm just going to um, 
make me in focus. I've got the Dyson Air Up arriving today. I ordered it on Amazon and it is arriving today. No, my puppy, please don't start crying. Um, and I Googled that mousse is really good to use with it. Here, you can have this box. There you go. I also wanted to say, I'm re really bad at explaining myself sometimes. And I, I know that there will be people that be like, Lydia, you don't have to explain yourself. And there'll be people that get really annoyed at me for explaining myself. And I can only, ex I can only explain it in this, in, <laughs> by explaining myself. In that, when I was talking about the Dyson Airwrap, oh my gosh, like, I just want you to know, I'm not talking about any particular person. I have been researching Dyson Air Wraps, and so now on my TikTok is where I'm getting served it because I've been researching it on there. And every time I flick through the people's videos, I can see that they dropped. They might think that that's a success. It's not a success for my hair. I'm not ever like saying anything about anybody as a creator or anything. I just don't, because I'm being served so many of them. I don't know who these people are. I don't know how they want their hair to look or not. And so I'm kind of going, I'm not getting the, the, what's the word, the review that I'm hoping for. And so I've realized I've just got to do it myself. I just had to put my money where my mouth is and buy it myself. That's one thing I hate about the internet. I really, really, really dislike it is, is this need for there to be drama all the time. Like if you don't see someone in my videos for a while, all of a sudden there's drama. If, if I say something, well, I must be saying it about this person. And it's like completely way off. And it's one of those things that makes my heart ache as a person because I would hate for anyone to watch my videos and think that I'm saying that or being like that about another person. Perhaps I need to be more careful with how I'm wording things and think of all of the pos possible outcomes. But what I would prefer is that people remember who I am, remember the type of person that I am, and just remember that I'm not I'm not in this, I'm not in the game of like, it, it doesn't bring anything to my channel. What I was explaining was my frustrations with not seeing the review that I wanted. Those reviews are probably great for everybody else. I was talking about me as a person and the review that I wanted. Um, and I was sharing that. Sometimes maybe I don't need to share that with you. I don't know. But the, the long and short of it is I've ordered the air wrap. It's arriving today and tomorrow is hair wash day. So I am going to, um, test drive it. Probably not in this video, but I'm excited. Literally Carrie messaged me this morning and she was like, the moment you've tried the air wrap, I need to know. So yeah, I just wanted to clear that up because it hurts my heart. And this is the other thing that I struggle with is my audience, my core audience. I meet you at like events and things like that. And so I know that for the most part, you are people sat there, you're enjoying my video as a bit of downtime and maybe seeing what I'm buying or what I like. And you're not necessarily in the comments, you're probably watching it on a TV, you probably don't even see the comments. Um, you're quite silent in that. <laughs> so often it can be quite loud when there are the people that maybe watch my channel, but shouldn't watch my channel. They should probably do themselves a favor because I clearly irritate them so much or they allow me to irritate them so much. And so sometimes I'm in this sort of really weird limbo where I know you guys don't wanna hear me explain myself. I know it annoys you, but in the same breath, as a person that would never want anyone to think negatively of them in that capacity, I know that there will always be those people that want to. I've just, sometimes I've got to set the record straight. And so this was the perfect opportunity. I've bought the Dyson Airwrap, okay? I'm gonna do the review that I want to see. And at no stage, at no stage, am I calling anyone like uh, like untrustworthy or anything like that. I'm trying all of the stuff. I've got the mousse. We're gonna go all out. I don't know if I'm gonna actually be able to use mousse on my hair because I need more moisture at the end. And hopefully, I'm gonna try it first without the mousse because my hair has a lot of natural hold anyway. So anyway, I ordered this off of Amazon as well. And I ordered some candlesticks. Can somebody please point me in the direction of somewhere that sells scented candlesticks? Why is that not a thing? It is so hard to find them. I want, I want scented candlesticks because if I'm burning a candle, I want it to smell nice as well. So these are the prices. Um, Royal warrant holders, prices 
tapered dinner candles. And finally, the lipsticks that I am obsessed with at the moment. I'm in the, in the market to try and find my favorite color of this. So these are, I don't know if I've already told you about this in this video. I don't know if I have, but I saw the Revlon, um, what are they called? The Revlon, they're like the glass lips, something or other. Um, in rum raisin obviously I can't get rum raisin anywhere but they sell the glass lips on Amazon and I've been able to get a few different colorways this is their dewy peach this is basically a hybrid oh I have told you about this I have told you about this so this is a new one that's arrived this is dewy peach I've actually been buying so much beauty stuff from Amazon recently nuts I don't usually um, but they seem to be getting like lots of really good stuff on there in terms of beauty and this was the only place that I could find these glass lip lipsticks in stock. So this is more of like a corally. No, Porty, it's not for you. Have you torn that box to shreds? Barty is. Barty, no, no. So let's try this one together anyway. Oh yes, that is, that's it. is it oh that is my spring summer lipstick found it's like oh my god it smells amazing i didn't even realize it smelled so good yep that's it so i found my summer fragrance which i'll tell you about and i found my spring summer lipstick as well which is good because we booked a holiday guys as well i have not even told you that we booked a holiday and um it's not for ages oh my gosh i wish it was like not i'm counting down the seconds but it is not for ages it is to a place that i have wanted to visit for years i have been saving up to be able to go on holiday to this place you have no idea we got the last room at this resort other than they have like this house or this big suite we got the last room and this is my dream trip they have a um, kitchen garden they have vineyards um they have like something like a hundred hectares of land where you can go hiking they have beautiful restaurants a beautiful spa and we've basically managed to book one of their private garden rooms i always want the garden room Woody. i always want the garden room there's a place in ireland that i really want to visit that has a like a house cottage thingy that you can stay in in the walled garden <gasps> dream so um we've managed to book it i'm so excited and um so having my summer and spring things ticked off the list is very good anyway i'm gonna crack on i'm gonna help porty because he clearly wants something and get on with the day i could not ignore this color matching the dyson has arrived i have unboxed it and i've also been sent this amazing equestrian wear delivery from bel cavallo this is like a beautiful navy with like gold detailing on it oh my gosh my first navy set of riding gear i'm definitely going to be putting that to good use i've got a short sleeve version i've got a long sleeve i've got gloves i've got socks very very spoiled and they've included a really lovely personal message as well in this card i'm not going to show it to you but um it just got me thinking it's one of those weird things now i was in um when i was having my lips and brows done in tracy giles the other day um i was talking and there was a lady at the at the counter and she just turned around and she just went and i'd said something i can't remember what it was that i'd said i think it was about my brows and she went oh my god and i thought yeah I, like my brows yeah i know they, they i thought like, i thought she meant that my brows looked really good and she was like oh my god i was like oh thank you and she goes you're lydia millen i was like oh <laughs> i thought you were saying my brows were nice sorry and um she goes you literally got me through the last two years you got me through lockdown and that is one of the things that people keep saying to me now it's only been recently it wasn't like during lockdown it was like only recently that this keeps happening and people keep saying this to me and i feel like it must i don't know whether it's like a a thing that people look back and they remember that they often sat down and watched my videos i don't know now that we're kind of out of it here in terms of like the lockdown and stuff but this lady has sent me this and she said you got me through an incredibly tough few years and i'm just like for me it's a it's a really strange thing that we all went through this really tough 
dark time and now we're coming out the back of it and people if they just w look back and think fondly about watching my videos during that during that time and they helped them and they provided them with something oh my gosh it was worth it it was worth it for me anyway because i was like struggling and um i wouldn't want to do that again but that makes it so worth it so yeah anyway lovely deliveries obviously very very nice i'm gonna get these put away and um i've also just opened the cards that I found. I found some plain cards, beautiful quality. So one of the things I want to do this afternoon when the men have gone from doing the uh, shed, because they'll probably think I'm nuts, I'm gonna go into the garden. There's a few oak leaves. I'm gonna get some ivy. I'm gonna get lots of different leaves and I'm gonna press them ready to make my own cards. I'm just gonna press them in books, nothing fancy. I've got some nice old books that I'm just gonna stick the leaves in um, and let them dry out and then stick them to the, the cards and then when i have my first like blooms from my cut flower garden i'm going to press them as well and put them onto cards because we did that with arthur parkinson as well he, he bought beautiful rustic cards and um what were the flowers are they pansies i'm pretty sure they were pansies they look so lovely so i think i'm going to do that too love that and i want to try and get a little ivy vine i think that'll look so like yeah we're gonna do it this afternoon so these are the cards that i got they are the most beautiful beautiful quality i think i went for a6 I, i'm gonna use these ones up but i think next time i'll go a little bit bigger um just so you can get more leaves on i'm thinking obviously like pressing some little ivy climbing tendrils like that um across the cards i want to get uh, a calligraphy set for myself so that i can practice just putting the months in which the leaves came from as well and then i'll just use them as thank you cards and birthday cards and whatever because i think that people will like them even if they're not like personalized to them but that they were made and handmade and yeah that's what i was thinking anyway so i got them in this lovely moss green color which probably isn't coming across as quite as green it obviously comes with the matching envelopes and then i got these classic ivory textured um card as well with the matching envelopes. I got 25 of each, so I've got 50 cards to make, so a lot of pressing to do, and then I'll probably get the bigger ones next time, just for future reference, but I was so happy to find a um, beautiful card like this um, in lovely colors. So that is what I'm gonna do this afternoon. I'm gonna head out there into the miserableness and get some leaves. But I just let the dogs out for their afternoon wee, and I checked on the, the shed progress, and I actually think, that, well they've got the roof going on they've got the slates going on the new composite slates they've got the slates going on they just look absolutely oh my god it looks incredible it looks absolutely incredible i reckon they could easily be finished by the end of this week we thought that they were going to have the inside finished so that we were able to move um all of the clutter back in at the weekend but i think they're going to be finished completely the way that they're moving it's unbelievable i can't wait to show you when they leave they should be leaving shortly actually they've saved quite a so yeah they should be leaving in about half an hour so in that time i'm going to show you another dress that has just arrived from amazon as well which i think i'm going to get a lot of wear out of in springtime the sun is setting as we speak but i thought i'd give this a quick steam and show you this is another dress from amazon what i loved was these structured pleats on the sleeves and i also loved the the structure in the skirt it's a very similar fabric to the shirt dresses um, it has more of like a shirting feel to it, um, but it's this lilac-y periwinkle. It probably looks a bit more blue on camera at the moment, but it's definitely more of a periwinkle colour. Such a great dress for wearing every day with beautiful structure, but the pleats give it, I don't know, it always gives me like a sort of reworked shirt vibe. Gorgeous length, very, very easy to wear. I thought I'd show you just a little bit further back as well, so you can get a full understanding probably see the color a little bit better as well but yeah gorgeous with tan accessories if that's what you're into beautiful length it's got pockets i'll link it in the description box it just arrived and i'm really really happy with this i think i'll probably order some different colors because i think the neckline's really lovely and the sleeves are lovely you could add a twilly to add a bit more color as well if you wanted to a silk scarf very very happy with this the guys from NJF have finally left and I've got just about enough uh, daylight to do my chores. Well, 
I'm just going to take some cuttings. So I'm going to grab some of these birch beech tree leaves. I always call them birch, but they're beech. Um, some of them are, are a bit fuller than this one. So I think I'll probably take some from this one. And just some general cuttings from around the garden to use on the new cards. I also thought I would show you the progress on the shed. I think we are going to be finished by the end of the week, which is really exciting. This side is fully clad already. We also have part of the roof going on. And this, I believe, is, this will be clad across. So it's quite clever the way that Ali has designed this. This will actually be open on this side so that the bins don't get like um, smelly in there. It's still got room for the air to flow out of it. So the bins will be kept in here. They're under shelter. Um, and there'll be doors on here but it just means that in the summertime when it gets hot uh, this space will be able to breathe and shouldn't go into this area of the the shed but it's two little areas there and um, this will be wood store which is going to be so nice I can't show you the the roof just yet I'm not tall enough and then we should be able to move back into here very very soon which means I get my greenhouse back but as you can see these little pathways are starting to look really lovely and just super super different like I just can't believe how different it looks it makes me so happy and all of these areas like I said these little um, wild flower areas so we've got the little wild flower island and these little pathways these are all going to probably come up to about this high and really just create beautiful wild flower um, lawns and pathways so I'm looking forward to it but now for some cuttings Well, I didn't harvest loads, but I just wanted to get a feel for things first and foremost. So I got some beech, some little oak leaves and some ivy tendrils. So I'm going to grab some books and get these pressed. I'm just going to quickly do my Googles and check that I know everything about pressing them before I do anything. And hopefully before long, I'll be able to put these to good use and know what I'm doing so that I can do some other types of leaves. I want to do some fern. I'll probably do some herbs when the kitchen garden's all back and ready. I'll even want to do some tomato vines, those kind. Oh, and some pea shoots. Oh, pea shoots will look so lovely. So I'm going to get these pressed for now. And yes, that is Porty playing with his squeaky toy. This is just to give you a bit of an idea of how it will look. I really like how the brown looks against the moss green card and then obviously it'll be folded here. What I want to do is put a little tag that says like January or whenever um, and just a little note I think but I need to think about that more but I'm going to get these pressed first and um, then we'll go on to the next stage. I'm kind of documenting this with you. This is my leaf and flower pressing book. I have quite a few of these. These are some beautiful French antique books. This is actually a copper inlay and I bought these from Setu. I saw them on their Instagram page and fell instantly in love. They have this beautiful sage green uh, silk or silk linen, something like that on the front. There's leather, there's copper. They are pretty spectacular. So I'm using, sorry about the dogs. Shut up you. Um, so I'm using this to pop the leaves into some paper, fold the paper over and then slot it into the book so that um, they go nice and flat in here basically. Dinner is served for the evening and it probably doesn't look like much but this is one of my favourite mostly healthy dinners to make and it is the best thing ever for just shoving loads of veg that you have in the fridge into a pan and mixing it through. I mix it through with two portions of uh, brown basmati rice and wild rice. So it's literally just a portion of rice each, which isn't a lot, but I've just packed it out with so much veg. 
it's ridiculous. There's peppers in there, sweet corn, mange too. I would normally have peas in there as well and whatever I can find. Uh, there's cashews as well and then some soy sauce and some olive oil and that's pretty much it. You can have it with something else if you want to. You can add obviously a bit more protein to it if you want but this is just one of those meals that we can devour this whole bowl each feel so full and satisfied and for the most part it's pretty healthy just veg and rice i try and boil as much of the veg as possible and then just stir it in rather than frying everything and it's just it smells so good and it's so easy and it's just full of full of veg the crockery that i've got just our usual these ones are from rowan and wren it's just kind of like a rustic metal um, bowls from every story and plates from Sophia Ceramics. These are from Garden Trading, Bertioli napkins. This is a Bertioli serving bowl, which I love. It looks so gorgeous with the table setting. And obviously the fern napkins look so lovely as well. These are actually from Amazon. I will link these in the description box as well. These are beautiful rustic um, salt and pepper mills that look really lovely on the table. So that is dinner served. I'm gonna call Ali and we're going to enjoy that. Well. Both wrists are strapped for the evening. I had physio last night with Paul. I will link his Instagram and his business page. He does all of my physio, basically. Um, I have massive issues with the tendon, I think it's a nerve or a tendon that runs basically the whole way down. It started on this one now. It's quite bad on this one. So when I put these on, life becomes a bit more difficult because I can't do a lot, <laughs> in all honesty, yeah. There's no pressing of leaves or potting of plants. So I try my best to make my hands and wrists and elbows last until the evening. And then I put them on and leave them to it. I get these straps from Amazon as well. They actually do them in pink. Um, they do them in pink, black. I just went for gray because if they're not green, what color am I gonna go for? And I've popped on these pajamas also from Amazon. These are probably my most comfortable pajamas that I own. These are a jersey material and silk pajamas are obviously like the epitome of luxury. And linen is very like breathable and wonderful, but jersey is so much more like, you've just got so much more mobility. The quality of these is wonderful. I've got them in black, navy, and this kind of jade green colour. I wish they did it in more of a moss green, but you know me, I'm always like that, wanting to change the colour of things. So um, I'm going to get myself ready for bed. I also wanted to quickly let you know about two things that have literally rocked my world. Um, I used to take the Nova Min's, um iron supplements. If you remember not long ago, I kept bruising really easily. In fact, that started again. So I should probably start taking my iron supplements again. But these ones, holy macaroni, you know that I use a magnesium body cream. But these are the five HTP nighttime gummies and these are the magnesium gummies. I take two of these before bed. I cannot express to you how deeply I sleep. I gave Ali the same dose that, that I take most nights. He woke up the next day. Admittedly, I don't think he had enough like sleep to let it wear off but like he woke up the next day and he was like wow i don't think i can take them again i'd say he probably needs to take them earlier and get more sleep because he had a bit of a late one but now i'm taking these every night i know they're gummies and so i know that they probably have um sugar in them and things like that hopefully it's like fruit fruit sugars it's got like purple carrot juice natural raspberry flavor so not too horrendous i hope they're gluten-free no artificial colours, no GMO, cruelty free and vegan, both of them. So, I mean, for someone that can't swallow tablets, I'm just never ever going to take tablets unless I can take them like this. I know I'm such a child and it's totally un, you know, what's the word? Totally un, it's totally off brand, okay? But I love them. They, it's the one way that I've managed to stick to taking tablets. The only other way is like tablets that I can break apart and dissolve into like a drink or a smoothie. That's the only other way that I can take tablets or like sachets of like powders or whatever. As long as it's not a tablet that I have to swallow, essentially that's better. So anyway, I am gonna get myself in front of the fire for a couple of hours, just to have some downtime, some chill and yeah, 
I'll pop all of the links in the description box down below. I know I've been like, oh, this is from Amazon, this is from Amazon, this is from Amazon. I mean, it's just me telling you, basically, because <laughs> I have so much. But they're all linked down below if you wanted to pick them up. I'm also going to oil my hair as well with my rosemary oil, which I'll link down below, and my scalp brush as well. So, all of the stuff. But I'm going to go and chill now because I can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I have to deal with every night. Please tell me it's not just my sausage dogs. that act like like baby walruses and they don't want to do it on the floor they want to do it on me you finished Are you finished oh yes he's found his favorite spot now he didn't <laughs> what barkley get off his leg <laughs> oh my god Port is not quite capable they both want to be on the back of the sofa <laughs> you are both absolutely ridiculous no no i don't want my hair doing thank you this is not porty and barclay's salon thank you thank you where on earth are you going don't sniff his bottom Lovely. 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 